name is Sarah Fletcher with Westford Community Access Television and today I'm Zooming with Lindsay and Della from the Lowell Humane Society and we're Zooming in on a rabbit today. Oh, hi Lindsay, how are you? Doing well, thank you for having us. Well, it's great to have you back on and who do you have with us today? Today I have with me Unagi who is the sweetest little seven-month-old rabbit, so she's still a baby. She is enjoying some hay right now here in her enclosure, and she is just really, really sweet, wonderful rabbit that's looking for a home. So it's seven months old. How did she come to the shelter? Yeah, so she actually came into the shelter um, back when she was only, I think, about two months old with her siblings. I believe she had come in with about four other rabbits, um, all from a litter. Um, so now she's spayed, her siblings are all spayed and neutered as well. Um, and she is ready to go to her forever home. Uh, she's hanging out right over here. But um, yeah, so she's a really sweet rabbit. She was in foster care for a while um, until she's old enough to be spayed uh, for rabbits. Yeah, uh, that's typically want to wait uh, until they're at least about four or more months old to stay and neuter them. Um, so she was finally old enough, got her stay, and now she's looking to find her family. We think that she would be a good candidate to um, bond with another rabbit. So if you have another rabbit at home, uh, she could be a really good new friend for them. Uh, but she right now is living as a single bunny here in her X10. She has plenty of space to roam around and explore, which is her favorite thing to do. So if someone has never owned a rabbit before, um, what sort of things do they need to consider? That's a great question. So if you've never owned a rabbit before, but you're considering it, they make excellent pets, and um, I would definitely recommend. They are so sweet and affectionate and really smart, um, intelligent creatures, just like dogs or cats, um, and they're very quiet, so they make really, really good pets. Um, she's right now she's letting me pet her uh, but yeah so if you've never owned a rabbit it's important to know that they do have long lifespans a lot of people think that they have a uh, shorter lifespans but they do live eight to ten years um, and they do require yearly checkups so all pets should really see a veterinarian uh, once a year at least for their annual checkups um, rabbits are considered exotic sleeping over there now oh. <laughs> they're considered exotics um so you'd want to find a vet that is comfortable with working with rabbits i didn't know they were considered um, exotic to spay and neuter them to make sure that they are um you know healthy and it cuts down especially with female rabbits on the risk of cancers um so she's spayed and doing really well um, but basically, rabbits need a pretty um, a lot of space to move around. Just because they're small animals doesn't mean, mean that they need a small space. So she has an X10 here. She'd also be a great candidate for being a free roam rabbit, so walking around your house just like a dog or a cat. Um, and they eat pellets, but the main portion of their diet is hay. So um, plenty of grass hay, and she'll be happy, happy as a clam. Okay. So roaming around the house, uh, do they use a litter box? Yes, they do. So really? she's actually sitting right next to her litter box right now, and you can see her enclosure is super clean. She's a very neat little rabbit. Uh, rabbits are very meticulously clean animals, um, so they can be litter box trained, just like a cat, um, but their litter box is typically filled with hay and newspaper instead of cat litter. Um, but they're, yeah, they're very clean animals, uh, and she, she uses her litter box really well right now. Okay, and I have heard that they like to chew on wires and things. Is that a concern? Yeah, so rabbits have teeth that continuously grow. Their teeth never stop growing. So chewing is a really important part of their routine. So providing them with plenty of toys to chew on, like cardboard, lots of hay that wears down their teeth, um, hay balls made out of Timothy hay, lots of things to chew on is important. Um, and rabbit proofing your home, if you are gonna have a free roam rabbit, is really important. So just covering anything that you don't want to, some rabbits chew more than others. Um, she's really sweet, not not a huge chewer, but it's definitely important to protect your things and your rabbits. Um, and other options are having like an X-Pen enclosure just like this one where she has plenty of space, but everything in there is nice and safe for her. Sure, and just like any pet, you need to make sure that they're in a safe environment. I mean, I've had dogs and cats that just 
you know, are, can cause some destruction as well. So we always have to be aware of our pet's surroundings and what they need, right? So if someone wants Absolutely. to, if someone wants to meet her, how does how do they get in touch with you? Yeah, so if you're interested in meeting Unagi here, who is showing how sweet she is but is taking a little nap, mm -hmm. um, then you can reach out to the shelter by email or phone, info at lowhumanesociety.org, or giving us a phone call. Um, or you can stop by during our open hours. We are available um, for visitation Tuesday through Sunday from noon to 4. Okay, and you're located at 951 Broadway Street? In Lowell. Yes, exactly. And the number is 978-452-7781 if you'd like to call up and make an appointment to meet Unagi. Thank you, Lindsay. We'll see you Thank again you. next time. Hi, I'm Dr. Corin Vickery with Whole Pet Veterinary Center. Just like us, pets need regular exercise. Most of us understand that lack of exercise can lead to weight gain, but did you know that it can also worsen arthritis in older pets and be a main source of behavior problems in others? Make sure to get your dog out every day for some form of activity and set aside time in your day also for your indoor cat. Options for exercise include walks, runs, fetch games, hide and seek games, nose work, active toy play or chasing games. Make sure your pet's exercise program is right for her. Consult your family veterinarian for answers to this question. Remember, getting the proper amount of exercise can help alleviate many problems, including obesity, mobility issues, and behavior problems. Thanks for listening. See you next time.